Look, if I were struggling with brain fog, these are some steps I would take to get fast relief. Number one, I would change my diet. I would avoid eating sugar in all processed food. That part's extremely important, especially cutting out gluten. Number two, I would look at nutrients, vitamins and minerals as extremely important support factors in helping my brain work properly. Now what I've got here are some of the more common things that we see clinically in people that have brain fog. The first on the list is iron. Now iron deficiency can cause brain fog because iron deficiency can lead to anemias. And when you have anemia, you can't carry oxygen to your brain and your brain won't think clearly. Now you can take iron, but you can also ask your doctor to measure or test your iron levels, ask them for an iron panel, also ask them for a ferritin test. This is especially important for you ladies who have menstrual cycles because you're losing iron every month when you have your cycle. So it's easy to measure for, you can always test for it, you can supplement with it, it's relatively safe to do that, and it can make major, major shifts in how your brain clarity and brain function work. Number two, Omega Max. Omega Max contains EPA and DHA. These are two primary types of omega-3 fatty acids, and human research studies show that people have better cognitive function when they have adequate levels of omega-3 fatty acids in their cell membranes. Now, this can also be tested for. Remember, you can get these tests done if you're not sure. Ask your doctor for the test. It's called an Omega Check test. It's a simple blood draw. Number three, magnesium. It's very, very clear. Magnesium plays a role in more than 300 different functions in the body. Many of these functions have to do with production of nerve chemicals, the chemicals your brain uses to communicate with itself, but also in the production of energy. And you can't make energy, you're gonna have brain fog. Number of human trials have also shown that magnesium deficiency is present more in people that have cognitive issues. So magnesium's a really big one. You can ask for a test to have this measured as well. You can ask for a red blood cell magnesium test or you can ask for an intracellular nutrient analysis from your doctor. Okay, the next are B vitamins, and I've got several of those here because these are some of my favorites uh, and some of the most common ones that we see people need when we actually do testing in the practice. So the first is vitamin B12, also known as methyl cobalamin. This is a very critical B vitamin that helps your brain function through several mechanisms. One of those mechanisms is by regulating a chemical called homocysteine. Now that chemical can do or cause nerve damage and nerve inflammation, including the cells of your brain. So B12 helps your body to regulate that so that it doesn't happen. Now B12 deficiency can also cause anemia. So just like iron can cause anemia, B12 deficiency can cause anemia, leading to poor oxygenation to your brain and brain fog. We also have here vitamin B1. Now vitamin B1, also known as thiamine, is very, very important for the production of energy, but even more specifically for your brain, it helps your brain make acetylcholine. Now this is the primary nerve chemical that allows your brain cells to talk to each other. It's also the primary chemical that allows your brain to talk to the rest of your body. And if you don't have adequate vitamin B1, you're gonna end up with brain fog. A lot of medicines deplete vitamin B1, including blood pressure medications, probably the most common. So we also have here vitamin B5. Now vitamin B5, also known as pantothenate, is very important. Just like vitamin B1 makes acetylcholine, vitamin B5 helps vitamin B1 make this molecule. This vitamin is also known as the anti-stress factor. And one of the biggest drivers of brain fog is stress. When we lose our ability to cope and adapt to stress, we lose our capacity to think clearly. And vitamin B5, very important in supporting the stress response and the stress mechanism. Now, if you don't wanna do individual formulas, B1, B12, B5, you can do a B complex. But I recommend a very strong, high potency B complex like B complete, which contains those three B vitamins plus all the others, B6 and B2 and B3, et cetera. The next on my list is vitamin C. There are a number of research studies that show vitamin C helps cognitive function in humans. Vitamin C is necessary to make dopamine. 
It plays critical roles in detoxifying chemicals. Some of these chemicals are damaging to your brain, things like heavy metals, cadmium, arsenic, lead, mercury. Vitamin C helps your body, supports your body's ability to get rid of these things. So very, very important. Next on the list is choline. Now choline is like a B vitamin, although technically it's not, but it plays a role in that same chemical we've been talking about with vitamin B1 and vitamin B5, acetylcholine. Well, this is the choline aspect of that. Choline is sometimes referred to as a nootropic, meaning it helps with cognitive function and boosts brain power. It's one of my favorite supplements because it supports the parasympathetic nervous system. That's the part of your nervous system that helps oppose stress. Remember, stress plays a big role in brain fog. Choline helps support your body's ability to cope with stress, but also helps you make the critical neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Next on the list is vitamin D. Now, vitamin D, there are a number of studies that show that vitamin D deficiency leads to cognitive decline and that vitamin D supplementation can improve it. Vitamin D also plays a regulatory role in your body's ability to cope and adapt and deal with inflammation. Remember that brain fog is a form of brain inflammation. So if you don't have the vitamin D to help you cope with the inflammation, you can run into some trouble. Now, you can eat these nutrients and you certainly should strive to do so. I encourage the right diet rich in vitamins and minerals. You can also supplement these nutrients should you choose to do so. I would encourage any of you watching this, if you're not sure which ones of these things might help you, which one would be the best for you, consider testing. There's a very specific type of test that you can ask for. It's called an INA, Intracellular Nutritional Analysis. It looks at your vitamin and mineral levels inside your cells where they actually go to work and help you function. So if you know, you don't have to guess. Now, if you're guessing, you could pick any array of these things. You could, again, also try to eat them, and that would be just fine as well. But if you're still struggling, don't ever forget, test, don't guess if you want accuracy, if you wanna save yourself tremendous brain fog and trials and tribulations in your future, get accurate as fast as you can. So this is what I would do if I had brain fog. Again, I would test myself. I would pick from the array of whatever I found was deficient, but these are some of the most common nutritional deficiencies I see in decades of practice.